Hello smart people, Rose here. Welcome back to Academic Rose. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about what I learned in winter 2018. So in winter 2018, instead of taking coursework as I have been taking since as long as I can remember, I actually finished taking all my courses for my PhD. So this last semester I was actually working on my comprehensive exam and if you want to know more about what a comprehensive exam is and what mine was like I actually made a video about that so I can link it somewhere in the screen and down in the description box so in this semester I actually learned that I need to be really 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 organized in order to accomplish all the things I want to accomplish and for this exam just to give you a brief idea of what it was it was three questions compounded into three more questions so in total nine questions that required about five to ten pages per answer and in addition to that I also had a list of 30 papers that I had to read and summarize and from the get-go I sat down I read the exam and I asked my advisors if I can ask them general questions about what exactly they wanted or they were expecting in the answers not what they wanted me to answer or to write but in what format in what way did they wanted it to be presented and if they had any specific thing they were looking for that they could specify to me and tell me hey Rose we want it in double space and we are looking for you to actually define this X and Y more than just dance around the topic so I did that and that helped a lot because I went into the exam already knowing that there were certain aspects that they were looking for and so I addressed them as I was going for that. And I also sat down after that meeting and I planned for myself, I actually used a bullet journal which I then stopped using and maybe I can make a separate video about that. But I set on pen and paper the exact dates on which I wanted to finish each milestones. And for me, the milestones were finishing to read all those 30 papers, summarizing those 30 papers, answering question one, question two, and question three. And then rereading everything and making sure that it was very good and I could hand it in. And in the end, I ended up being a little bit behind schedule for my schedule, but I was still up to date with the original schedule because I had a due date. After I handed in that exam, it was called to my attention that I still had room for improvement and this is a lesson learned because I noticed that even though I reread it about three times, I asked Adam to read it, I even asked a friend to go over my math model to see if I had made any mistakes, we still had completely bypassed a lot of mistakes that went into the paper. Well, not a lot because I passed the exam, but I still had a few mistakes that I could have addressed if I had probably gotten another person or if I would have, and not necessarily I want to say you have to print it, but if I would have looked at it with super careful detail and what I learned for the math model in particular is that if I print the math model or if I have the math model and what each variable means, I could go highlighting them one by one and making sure that everything I had defined as a variable, I was actually using it at the model. So that is one of the lessons learned. In addition, I, I had an oral exam, so I had to prepare a presentation and summarize everything I had already summarized in a 20 minute talk. And that is not necessarily easy. And on the day of the presentation, even though I tested the projector the day before, I still had problems with the projector. So this is something I already knew, but it re-emphasized that even if you have a presentation and you tested everything, there, if something could go wrong, it, there's still a chance that it could go wrong and may go wrong. And that same day, the projector wasn't working. And thankfully, I was there since early in the morning. I tested it out and I asked for someone to come and help me out with it. And in the end, everything worked out. So yeah, most of the things I learned this winter 2018 is how to better prepare and how to better look for mistakes or certain oops or things that could be improved before someone tells you that it can be improved. So that's what I learned. I hope you guys enjoy this video. 
and I will see you on the next one. Bye, smart people.